Hospitali ya Mama Lucy imekuwa katika darubini kufuatia kifo cha Bi Morin Onyango aliyega dunia baada ya kujifungua mapacha. Kulingana na ripoti iliyowasilishwa kwa kamati, safari ya kumpeleka mgonjwa huyo mahututi ilianza saa tano usiku kutoka hospitali hiyo ambapo alipokewa saa saba na dakika ishirini katika hospitali ya Rufaa ya Kiambu. Kwa kawaida, uhamisho hadi hospitali hiyo ya Kiambu iliyo umbali wa kilomita 19.6 chukua karibu nusu saa maseneta wakiongozwa na mwenyekiti wa kamati senator Jackson Mandago walitaka kujua kwa nini ilichukua muda mrefu kupindukia kumpeleka mgonjwa huyo ikizingatiwa ilikuwa usiku na hivyo hakukuwa na msongamano wa trafiki nilitoka moja kwa moja hadi eneo la Tasia ambapo Omodi amekuwa akiishi pamoja na watoto wake nilipata muda wa kuzungumza naye akituelezea taswira kamili iliyoweza kujitokeza usiku kuhuo. Omondi akizungumza nami kwa huzuni anaelezea jinsi wa hudumu wa hospitali ya Mama Lucy walivyochangia kwenye kifo chake. Omondi anatuelezea aliyachwa na hali duni, msongo wa mawazo akiwa kwenye hali ya upweke hadi wakati alikubali hali halisi ilivyokuwa. Omondi tunaposikiza Omondi tuna maswali chungu nzima tutakayojiuliza je hadi lini wagonjwa wataendelea kuiaga dunia kutokana na hali duni ya hospitali za umma je kwani utu ulienda wapi mtu akawekwa kando pesa ikawekwa mbele je serikali itachukua hatua maalum kuhakikisha familia hii itapata haki yake yote tisa la je hadi lini wa Kenya wataendelea kulilia haki yao. Hii hapa ndio taswira kamili iliyoweza kujitokeza. Langu jina ni Wanyoike Mugore kwa ushirikiano na Mururi TV. Thank you so much kama umesikia niko hapa eneo la Tasia ni katika kaunti ya Nairobi eneo bunge la Embakasi East huko ni kwa babu wa wino sivyo yeah, nimetembelea huyu jamaa ambaye amekuwa na mambo yamekuwa mzito kwake amekuwa na story a very very painful story nataka tuisikize siku ya leo najua wengi wamezoea tukifanya kwa kikuyu lakini leo nikubalie na uniwie rathi tunapoifanya kwa lugha ya Kiswahili najua kuna wengi watafurahi kwa sababu hawakuwa anaelewa na sasa wataelewa Nataka huyu jamaa tusalimie, kwambie anaitwa vipi na jinsi mambo yamekuwa ilikuwaje yalitokea yepi na tuweze kusikia story yake vizuri bro. Niko vipi? Niko poa? Mambo kabisa niko poa nimetulia. <laughs> Uko chanjo kabisa. Eh. Mm. Nataka usalimie mtazamaji hapa umwambie unaitwa nani, umetoka wapi, umezaliwa wapi, umelelewa wapi, eh. umekulia wapi? Uh-huh. Umejikulia umejinenepea ukiwa wapi? Okay. Eh, na uongeze tu sauti kidogo. Okay, kwa majina ni naitwa Robert Mundi. Mm-hmm. Eh, natoka Migori County, mm-hmm. Nyatike sub county. Mm-hmm. Yeah, place inaitwa Kadem. Kadem. Eh, Wathonger. Wathonger. Yeah. Eh, Wathonger. <laughs> <laughs> Karibu zema Watho. Eh. <laughs> so huko <laughs> huko ndio nimelelewa. Right. Nime grow huko mm-hmm. hadi my primary level yangu nimesomea huko. Mm-hmm. Until class 5. Mm-hmm. So nikatoka huko nikakuja mm. side za Kisumu County. Mm-hmm. Kisumu County nilikuwa place na Nyakachi. Nyakachi. Yeah. Nyakachi najua. Nyakachi unajua. Eh. Eh, so huko <laughs> nimesomea high school yangu yote. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Ukamalizia tu pale? Eh, nimemalizia pale high school. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ulipita vizuri ama masomo yalikukataa kama mimi? <laughs> yeah, Nilingangana nili nilipata kabima na si yangu nikatoka nayo. Mm-hmm. Kasa. Yeah. Mm-hmm. After hapo ukaendeleza masomo ama ikakuwa vipi? Mm, masomo ilikuwa imekuwa challenging after that you mm-hmm. have uh, hapo background haikuwa fit vile right. so nimekuja ndio nikatoka mm. nikaenda bondo kungangana kuchimba gold mm. eh, ikanishinda mm-hmm. ndio huko ilikuwa risk nikarudi ndio nikakuja Nairobi sasa right yeah mm-hmm. so Nairobi kwa hustle hustle nikapata mm. job yangu ya kwanza mm. so hiyo ndio nilisomea ili ni, nikaenda nao college mm ya yeah, my first job before when the college sasa Nairobi umekuja kwa nani ama kuna mtu alikushika mkono akakuleta Nairobi akakwambia kuja tuishi na wewe ama ilikuwa vipi yeah kwa Nairobi nimekuja kwa first time nimekuja kwa kazi yangu mm. mm. e, bado pia ilikuwa hasla mm-hmm. so pale Kayaba Kayande mm. kwa south south B mm-hmm. 
ndio tukatulia huko na mm. yeye mm. so nikapata job huko mm. kama bado niko naye ndio nikahamia mm. nika city stadium mm -hmm. kwa kaloleni mm. ukaanza sasa uh, kujikalisha sasa maisha mm. so naenda job taongara then mm. narudi ololo ololo kaloleni ya oh kunaitwa ololo eh, ololo <laughs> Na sasa pale pale ngara unafanya kazi gani? Nilikuwa nafanya data entry, data entry level. Data entry. Yeah. Ulikuwa umesomea ama ilikuwa tu? Ah no, zile tu job unangukia after form 4, sio mm. lazima. Mm. Uh, umejichocha na kompyuta kidogo, ma mm. laptop, umesoma mm. soma moja mbili so unaweza fanya. Mm -hmm. So si kwa nimesomea hiyo kazi. Mm. Ni job tu ya kujishikilia. Mm. Mm. Lakini ilikuwa inakulipa vizuri. Yeah, il, ah, ilikuwa nilipa vizuri for at that time. Eh. Yeah. <laughs> Tunaongelea mwaka gani sasa? Ilikuwa 2014. 2014. 2014, 2015. Mm. Yeah. Ndio nilikuwa mmaliza tu high school. Yeah, high school. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Nilipata nisha survive uh, a year. Mm. So ndio nika sasa mm -hmm. my first job. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then uh, sasa nataka tuende tu uh, kwa utaratibu tu ndo mtazamaji asibaki nyuma mm -hmm. uh, ukiwa pale ngara uh, utaendelea tu kufanya kazi ni maana ukiniambia hiyo kazi ndio ilikusaidia kuingia oh, kwenye uh, college mm -hmm. so hiyo job ilikuwa fit juu walikuwa natulipia school fees uh, Kenya University hiyo hiyo kazi uh, hiyo kazi mm -hmm. but walikuwa nailipa through help so ni kama una lend oh. which until bado nailipa hadi wa sasa eh juu walikuwa natulipia then wana deduct mm -hmm. uh, but mm -hmm. you apply it through help right. so walitusaidia at that time mm -hmm. but uh, apparently your job ilikuja ikaisha right uh, schooling maybe ni sema ili stop mm -hmm. yeah juu nili sasa nilianza tena kufanya other staffs kupata uh, vile naweza survive mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. so nili defer uh, until to date but mm -hmm. sijairudi huko hujairudi shule yeah, tena sijairudi bado mm -hmm. uliachia mwaka wangapi ilikuwa 20 ilikuwa 2018 2018 2017 i mean mm -hmm. yeah, 2017 ndio nili defer ukiwa Uh, graduate 2017 2017 yeah but mm. company lisha around uko 2016 mm. yeah so ni company ili dissolve ili dissolve mm. mm. wa wow, pole mm. mungu atakutengenezea tu njia pengine mm. kama utataka kuendeleza masomo atakupa nafasi nyingine mm. uh, sasa ukiwa pale sasa shule um, umeacha masomo kazi imeisha sasa mm. utaanza maisha yepi utaanza kuishi vipi Ah sasa nikaanza kuuza maji pale ulolo na mkoko. Mm. Eh teknika kaanza kuuza smoky mayai. Hapo mm. ndio sasa maisha ilianza ku nilianza ku move nayo hivyo hivyo maisha mm. vile nili ili 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 come. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ukaanza sasa kuflow na life. Yeah, kuflow Ukaanza kuwa hasla yako hasla yako ya kawaida ya Nairobi lazima tu hasla. Right. Mm. Na sasa uh, pale ndipo utafikiria kupata bibi ama how did it happen? Ah uh, no, sick to think about kwa at that time. Eh. Eh, kwa ilikuja later. Mm -hmm. Ilikuja 2021. Just last year 2018 yeah. zote hizo ma was just hustling macho tu bachelor kwa kawaida tu akukula madondo chafu na nini chafua eh chafua so vine lile amia huku tasia 20 after corona ndio sasa tena nikakuja tukamit na huu mrembo sasa huu mrembo wako ndio mtu eh yeye alikuwa na kibanda alikuwa anafanya hoteli so hapo ndio tulimit Mm. Na ilikuwa yake ama ilikuwa yake <laughs> alikuwa asla pia alikuwa yeah. asla ad very ad working lady mm -hmm. so upon to commit mm -hmm. tuka, we, we became friends right. and maisha ikaanza pale mm -hmm. after a few months to mm -hmm. uh, yeah mm hebu -hmm. tell us because uh, hiyo ndio imetuleta hapa we want to mm -hmm. know the, how uh, the the journey started mm -hmm. vile safari yako na yake ilianza ndio mm -hmm. maana tumekuja hapa nataka utuanzie tu pale umempata kwa kibanda mm -hmm. umewe umeenda kama customer mm -hmm. In, how did it start at least ndio tukue na muktadha ka, uh, ka, kamili oh uh, yeah, yeah, that year mm -hmm. uh, after commit mm. then uh, yeah we we dated for a while right uh, before i move in kwa kwangu mm. so we dated uh, then to leonite it's, it's important sasa mm. 
ndiye pia alikuwa ready for marriage and right. pia alipata ni hasul zangu mm. tunaweza start a family mm. so that 2021 kukuja mm. tuka state the whole of 2021 right. then 2022 mm. uh, january ndio ka conceive uh, kwa january mm. so tuka ngangana na emil kwa hasul zangu za smoky mayai pale na mm. chapa mm. then uh, Yeye yeah, sasa alikuwa ametulia kwanza aenda kwa kuhasil juu alikuwa sasa heavily pregnant at that time na hizo signs mm. za kwanza kwanza. Mm. So nika nika mweka anatulia mimi na hasil tuna tunakula and everything. Mm. So vile ilifika due date yake of which ilikuwa 5th mm. au ilikuwa on 7th mm. kwa kia, kwa clinic zilikuwa imeandikwa on 7th so mm. do yake ilikuja on on 5th sasa. Mm. Mm. So hiyo mande ilikuwa on 5th on Monday mm. ndio tuka uh, magic break tukiwa kwa nyumba mm. jioni nisharudi kutoka hustle zangu mm. and then nika call sister yake mm. huyo mkubwa yenye ako na watoto sai mm. uh, akakimbia mm. tuka mpeleka hosi mm. kumkimbiza hosi mm. tukaenda pale kwa dio kayole mm. fanywa check up 1 2 3 mm. bp ilikuwa high so yake okay. mm, okay. mm. so alim refer to ende mama lucy at that time haraka haraka mm. so being wakati wa wakati pe ambulance mm. then tukamkimbiza mama lucy mm. so mama lucy vile tulifika mm. reception haikuwa haikuwa fit juu uh, alikuwa amefosiwa baby vitu zake peke yake tungeweza kuwa loud kubebana na yeye pia mm. aliambiwa ingie uh, ingie but tulikuwa na luggage siku mm. tulikuwa na luggage juu tulikuwa tumebeba bag zake mm. na vitu za watu hii mm. so ile tunaenda kumregister mm. kama kawaida mm. so walitukataza at mm. the entrance kwa nini so hapo ndio tukuelewa mm. ndio akabebana na hizo vitu hizo staff sakaingia pale mm. uh, si tulikuwa tumebaki nje mm. so vile lifika around uh, lifika usiku hapo inaelekea saa sita mm. ndio tukaambiwa ye yeah, atabaki until the following morning akuje akue checked mm. uh, so tuko hizo amelazwa ame amekuwa admitted ama eh yeah, amekuwa admitted juu uh, tuliambiwa tu tunaweza leave mm. twende turudi mta mm. mm. so visi, mi na shemeji yangu tuka tukatoka mm. then tuka tukamwacha mm. the ilifatu kuji asubuhi at least mm. kumuona mm. so kufika asubuhi ndio akapiga simu mm. ati ya koredi anapelekwa theater mm. so ali ni call but simu yangu ilipata inezimu at that time ime, ime, ime kufa mm. ilikuwa off akazimbia sister yake mm. but vile sister yake ali ni call alipata sasa phone yangu ilikuwa on mm. i think ilizima tu alafu nilikuwa na shughuli zingine bado mm. so vile ni call nikaaniambia Morina ameniambia ame hivi nika mm. rush mm-hmm. kufika huko aka nikampeleka some staffs alikuwa ameniambia mm. juu alini sasa kwa vile nilipigia mm. after kufungwa simu nikampigia immediately mm-hmm. so akaniambia 1 2 3 nimkimbizie mm. so nikamkimbizia hizo staffs mm-hmm. akaniambia wakasema anapelekwa theater at that time ilikuwa around 6 mm-hmm. mm. so vile alipelekwa Uh, nikauliza madaktari hao nyele kuna mpeleka tamalizo wa dakika ngapi hivi akaniambia akaniambia hajui itateka how long mm. uh, but uh, i wait wataniambia everything mm. isha isha mm. so me pia being nilikuwa na shughuli zingine kwa nyumba yeye tu na yake ilifaa nimalizie mm. nikaona mama lucy na hapa si mbali dakika mm. kaa tano naweza chukua pikipiki na nifike na nirudi haraka mm so nilikuja nikafanya one two three kwa nyumba mm. ku vile ilifika saa mbili mm. there's a doc, uh, doctor mm. who called me akaniambia bibi yangu asha deliver amejisaidia ame mm. na ame ame ameleta ame one twins mm. uh, both of them are boys mm. so vile ilisikia hivyo immediately nika rush mm. OC mm. kufika OC nikapata kura shuko mm. ikapata amelazwa sasa kwa ashapelekwa ward mm. watoto wako pale wamelala na yeye mm. 
but uh, already I'm deliver yeah, I deliver self mm. things are okay what to work so so up on the sasa nilijundua maybe uh, there's a few things that zilikuwa zina miss you mm. hiyo hiyo drip alikuwa amewekwa ilikuwa imeisha dawa mm. so kuna damu ilikuwa na bla na rudi kwa hiyo pipe kirudi kwake damu ilikuwa ina flow back mm. kwa hiyo drip yeah, kwa hiyo eh? drip mm-hmm sonika uliza ama ma nurses ah mm. manini not nurses ah my patients walikuwa hapo ndani mm. na yeye mm. kambia ni nurse mgani anawasaidia hapa so mm. luckily enough alikuwa anapita at the same time mm. kwa mlango mm. ndio mwingine akapoint aka, aka akaniambia ni huyo mm. so nikaita huyo nurse but ali ignore akukam hakukuja hakukuja mm. So at that time pia mtoto watoto wanangangana pia Asha mm. niambia mtoto mmoja ame amenyonya ame but mwingine aja ajanya mm. mm. so ni nimsaidie kunyonyesha huyu mwingine mm. mm. so at that time ndio damu ilianza kutoka kidogo kwake mm. kidogo but moja niko peke yangu shemeji yangu pia alifaa kuja alete lunch mm so tulingangana until so nini ndo mnamsaidia mimi ndo namsaidia mm. at that time je sister yangu ndio baada hajafika mm. ndio nishamupigia mm. so dakika kidogo huyo nas pia ka walk in tena kusaidia the other patients nikamwambia kitoka hebu kujiangalia mm. i, i drip mm. akaniambia unaweza toa tu peke yako mm. so nika nika nikamwambia ni sawa nasa makombe unaweza eh, kitoa nitoa hiyo drip juu hiyo niliona hakuna uh, dawa ina, inaenda through mm. kwa body so inaweza tolewa tu mm. so nikatoa nikarudisha hizo vitu zote mm. kwa mkono nikafunga nika rest mkono wake mm-hmm. nikaacha hiyo pipe hapo mm-hmm. so at that time <coughs> inaelekea saa sita huko mm. uh, sister in law pia wangu mm. akakam mm. so vile alikuja around 12:50 mm. 55 mm kuingia kwa entrance <coughs> eh, watchman security ali ali block asingie mm-hmm. so akaniambia hebu kuje uongee na huyu mm-hmm. mtu amekata nisingie mm-hmm. so nikaacha mke wangu pale mm-hmm. nikakuja kwa kumwe kum explainia sasa security officer mm-hmm. hebu kuje unisaidie mwache kuje nisaidie mm-hmm. Uh, niko peke yangu na me, mke wangu ame deliver twins mm. and uh, it's hectic sisi peke yangu mm. acha tu imebaki dakika kidogo to visiting hour which mm. ni 5 minutes mm. ilikuwa saa saba mm. unaweza mwalao tu akuja nisaidie mm. alikata so at that time nikachukua stang in low mm. nikamwambia tuende mm. by force sasa mm. to we forced ourselves in mm. tukaenda sasa tukaanza kusaidia mtu wao hii right. watu wao hii mm. uh, kaongea na sister yake mm so at that time pia damu hii sasa ilikuwa imezidi kutoka mm. ilikuwa imezidi tukaita madaktari mm. but hakuna mtu alikuja mm-hmm. mm. until kitu 1120 huko mm. ndio sasa wakakuja sasa kukuja wakatutoa nje wakazingira pale wakaangalia Morin at that time alikuwa na scream mm. alikuwa ameanza sasa eh, kubleed eh, ile bleed ile serious mm. damu ilikuwa mob so akatutoa nje wakatweka hapo kwa bench nje na watoto mm. wakakuja wakamfanyia sg first aid huko ndani kidogo mm. kidogo tunaona anatoka so hiyo kutoka mimi nilikuwa nimesimama kwa mlango mm. akaniambia ni bai watoto nani mm. eh hiyo ndio the last thing aliniambia bai mkango sasa alikwambia hiyo mm, akitoka juu nilikuwa kwa mlango hapo hivyo mm. akaniambia ninunulie watoto nani eh so vile alikochukuliwa pele pe theater for the second time mm so vile alienda theater mimi nilienda sasa kubaya watoto na juu mwingine hako amenyonya na huyu mwingine at least alikuwa amenyonya kido, mm. kidogo kidogo mm. so nikakimbia mm. nikarudi mtaa tena mbio mm. nikaenda kwa supa mm. nikachukua nani nikarudi kwa nyumba nikachukua hizo ma feeding bottles zao mm. nikabeba nikarudi tena usi mm. and that time yale rudishwa theater, theater. Mm. Mm-hmm. so kurudi ndio <coughs> sasa sister law akaanza ku tukaanza ku ya watoto mm nikuwapea mm. so at that time hiyo sana nane hizo ako mm. ako theater mm. sisi tuko kwa ward tumerudi mm. juu alishatoa ile bed sheet ilikuwa na damu mm. akaenda nayo mm. eh at that time pia huyo nasa alikuja akasema eh kumbe ame bleed tu mingi mm. Mm. so wakatoa akatoa bed sheet mm. wakakuja wakawasha hapo hivyo and then wakatandika tena bed vizuri mm. so tukakaa na watoto tukiwapea mm. nani juu alikuwa analia sasa mm. wana, wana wako njaa mm 
so tukaenda tukamixia ndio hiyo instructions iko kwa hiyo tin ya nani so yeah. tunge, tungeza jua mm. kama kwa hizi tunaweza weka so hiyo time yote tumekaa pale mm. kwanza saa nane hiyo mm. nimerudi tumefeed watu hii mm. hakuna communication yote walitupea mm. but hopefully that ako safe mm. wanamwatendia mm. so tukiwa huko ndani kuna mtu watu na sisi jua wili sisi mm. kama walikuwa manasa ama walikuwa tu watu um, jua litoka wapi mm. but walikuwa wamevaa nguo za nani but walikuwa nasema wametoka kwa nasari huko chini mm. kwa floor ya chini mm. walikuwa nataka watoto waende nao kwa nasari so <coughs> at that time tuli tulikata kuwapea mm. watu hii mm. uh, ndio wakakuja wakatutreaten hapo kusema wewe nyinyi mnajifanya mna hapa hivi lakini tukiambia boss mtajua mjue mm. amjue so plus ile nini support ya ma patients wali kama au uh, those women yenye yuko hapo ndani mm. wakasema usiwakubali wachukue watu hii mm. so at that pia walitupea moral mm. so tukakatalia watu hii waka, mm. wakaniita nje mm wananiuliza mm-hmm. instructions wewe nani hii mm-hmm. mnalisha watu hii nini na nini mm-hmm. ndio tunalisha nani mm-hmm. yana mbona nini ah, si tuko tu saa juu tunaona wako tu healthy mm-hmm. wako wako weight poor 3.8 mm-hmm. kg na mwingine yako 3.9 kg mm-hmm. atu ni reason why tuwapeleke kwa nasari mm, so tuko tu sawa right so wali to threaten up but apparent mm-hmm. lastly wali tuacha mm-hmm. mm-hmm. wakaenda mm-hmm. disappear hivyo mm-hmm. So hiyo time yote tuko na watoto mm. sasa tunawaangalia mm. mama yao akiwa huko kwa theater mm. no communication mm. so kufika around 4 5 huko mm. ndio tunapata call that the doctor alinipigia akaniambia mkango wako sawa wanajaribu kumstabilize wanamongezea damu juu ameloza lot of blood na ndio wanaongeza 3 packets za, za blood mm. so hiyo 3 packets ndio akasema ashamaliza ya kwanza wana wanamongeza hizo hizo zingine mbili zimebaki mm. and by saa mbili usiku mm. atakuwa sawa mm. atakuwa amestabilize amerudishwa kwa mm. kwa ward akae mm. na watoto wake right so tuka alitupia hopes tukasema ah it's good kama ni damu mm. which yep sisi pia tumeona ni damu imemwagika mob mm. maybe anashughulikiwa anaongeza damu mm. so vile lifik tukatulia na rose tunaangalia mm. watoto hii tunapiga mm. story So there's a call ilikuja around 7 kilekea sasa saa mbili hiyo alisema mimi saa hizo mnaenda home ah, no, tuko tu kwa si tuko tu na Rose mm-hmm. tuko na sister in law wangu Rose right tukakuwa sasa eh tumekuwa worried mm-hmm. hiyo time yote tumekuwa worried tunaulizia mm-hmm. then hiyo call ikakuja ikisema ako in wa, condition yake condition yake sasa imewasen mm-hmm ni kama sasa wana muangalilia place ya kumtransfer in the ICU. Mm. Eh, so tuka ilikuwa late already saa mbili saa moja na nusu inaletea mm. saa mbili. Mm. So watu won't anything. So vile alisema ICU so, eh tumeshtuka. At that time sasa tulianza eh tena ICU na walisema wanamongeza damu mm. anaenda ku mm. So hapo ndio sasa nil, tulikuwa worried nikaanza kwa ku call family members so vile walisema wanataka kumrifa wakasema Kenyatta Kenyatta hospital iko full mm. na KU referral mm. inataka 200,000 eh, KU na Kenyatta na Machakos mm. walikuwa wanataka 200,000 cash mm-hmm. so hapo tukamwambia wewe mi size size pata 200,000 mm na kuna na mmesema late saa hizi all, mm. all along kuanzia saa mlimrudisha saa saba hadi saa hizi saa mbili saa moja na nusu saa mbili inaelekea mm. mm. ndio mnatuambia hii story mm. so tutaanzia wapi mm. tukaanza ku call my relatives nini ni kuambia mm. it, it was too late mm. so kurudi kwa room nikaambia ro hizo story zote mm. Mm vile nilikuwa kwa ward sasa nimerudi kwa ross ndio mm. ka there's a caller kaniambia mm. nasa akakuja kaniambia unaitwa huko mm. there's a nasa alikuja mm. kaniita tukaenda mm. wakani explainia ndio akaniambia kuna option nyingine ya kiambu level 5 mm. so mimi nilikuwa desperate for help at that time mm. tukakubali tunampeleka kiambu mm. 
you see na your 200,000 size at that moment mm. so tukaenda wakati waambia tutulie sasa gari na kuja mm. ambulance uh, ambulance na kam kumpeleka kiambu so mm. tuongoje mm. so tukaanza kuongoja juu tuko na jua maybe na kuja mm. immediately so mm. saa mbili tumeongoja tumeongoja mm. hakuna ambulance na kuja mm. Uh, jua sha wamesema kiambui wame, wamepata place so uh, ambulance tumengoja from here to Miyote mm. ambulance ilikuja kukuja around mm. saa tano inaelekea saa sita huko ndio sasa ambulance inakuja mm. at that time nimezunguka kwa hii end nini hii, hii corridor na ulinaenda kwa theater room iko karibu na hapo reception mm. na at that time pia umekata ni siende nione mke wangu juu nimeuliza sasa sinaweza ingia basi niende nimuone huko kwa theater na kaambia hapana theater mm. kaambia hapana theater you're not allowed to go there oh. mm. so nime keep on moving mm. up and down kuulizia mm. hali tunaenda mm. sangapi mm. so vile lifika huko saa tano ndio akakuja akaniambia tuende mm. nikaenda hapo kuongoja kwa ambulance nje mm. saa hizo rosa amebaki na watoto mm. Mm baki na watoto kwa hapo kwa road na angalia mm-hmm. right so driver alikuja kwanza yeye pia amecomplain ilikuwa late mm hawa kwa umeprepare mtu tunapeleka bado mm-hmm. tukikuja tumeongoja mm-hmm. tena another 15 minutes mm-hmm. driver amepotea tena karudi mm-hmm. so la, the last time sasa nikiona the second time na muona after tuliachana kwa akirudisho theater sasa anatolewa tena na maizo ma oxygen ma nini gas iko amewekwa kwa vita aongei mm. aongei sasa anapumua tu mm. I, I, nikakuwa confused sasa mm. I was like eh. so hapo kwa gari pia wakaanza kubishana about the pipes wajui waingize hii wapi nini na hizo manases walikuwa two nurses two mm. young ladies walikuwa wadogo bado mm. alafu na uh, kijana fulani pia mm. alafu na driver So mimi pia nikawa join sasa juu ilikuwa pia kupandisha murin kwa ambulance ilika kwa shida mm. hakuna mtu akubeba hii gas cylinder so nikawachukulia gas cylinder hiyo mm. nikabeba so nikiingia nayo ndani pole pole wakisukuma mm. wakaanza ku kumwekea vitu mm. tu kwa nini hizo ma pipes mingi mm. tukaingia kwa gari nikakaa na wao hapo hivyo ndani at that time ndio waka realize mimi si one of them waka nitoa nje nikaenda kukana driver mm-hmm. so kukana driver huko mbele so, nikawaacha huko nyuma sijui alikuwa anafanya nini sasa mm-hmm. tukaenda tukatoka so kutoka driver pia sasa alisema anatumia shortcut of which me bado it was my first time kwenda Kiambu siko ni mwai enda sijui enda hiyo side mm-hmm. i didn't know shortcut ni wapi mm-hmm. but according to that route ako anajua shortcut hako anajua the route hiyo terrain pia kwanza ilikuwa maybe hako anajua vizuri cause mm. ali keep on asking questions kwa njia mm. alafu potholes kwanza yeah, yeah. eh unagongana na so una imagine kama wende una una una, una mm. bounce hivyo mm. sasa mtu mgonjwa ana huko nyuma ina filaja mm. so mimi sikuona kama ni shortcut mm. na sikuona ilikuwa ilikuwa too pathetic mm. driver hako anajua ilifika place tume stop anauliza mtu wa private njia hii ndio njia kwenda Kiambu so ilikuwa ilikuwa hectic mm. but finally tukafika tukafika Kiambu sasa tukafika Kiambu around 110 mm. you know siku sasa eh e, after kumianda hizo saa 5 na nusu hadi tulifika saa 7 na dakika kumi mm. so pale waka, waka, waka manases from Kiambu waka receive wakaanza ku change files hapo pia wakaanza kubishana about hiyo the, the size of the pipe ni ilifaingi kwa mdomo yake ama mm. wapi so wal, walianza kuulizana so wale wakiambua waka, wakaanza kuwa show sasa the size vizuri so unaona hii length yake mm. wakasema oh ni sawa so hawa so, walikuwa wamemuingiza vile hi-fi hi I, i think so juu mm. kiona wanabishana about the length of the hiyo pipe ni nafaingi kwa mdomo ikipeleka gas ilikuwa mm. So niliona kama there was a lot of negligence Negligence. everywhere everywhere from Mm. the start Mm. vile yeah from everywhere juu angekuwa pale mama lucy ange wange stop ile bleeding haraka vile nili request dot there was a lot of delay Mm. so huko mama kiambu waka receive waka mweka kwa bed waka mchange kila kitu tukasaidiana kumbeba kukaka tukimweka kwa bed 
then wakaniuliza wale wa mama Lucy kama naenda na wao nitarudi na wao nikamwambia hapana mimi siwezi rudi jumii ndio niko na yeye so lazima tu nitabaki so apparently waka disappear wakaenda so kuenda nikabaki wale wa Kiambu na Sesh from Kiambu akaniambia siwezi ikoa hapo but nita nita wait uko nje kwa tent so that night nili spend kwa tent hapo nje Yeah. but wakaniambia nikuje nisikuje saa moja hivi mm. but nikuje around eh, from saa moja anaweza kuja from 6:46 akielekea saa moja ndio nikuje niwaone mm. ni muone asubuhi so nililala huko asubuhi around 6:45 nilishafika kwa entrance ya ICU mm-hmm. nikanga nikanok eh, wakaniambia si kuingia niliambiwa nisingie but akaniambia kuna daktari amekuja mpya mm. anamwangalia mm-hmm. ni, niongoje tu hapo nje so niliongoja mm-hmm. inalekea saa tatu mm-hmm. so nikakuwa suspicious nikaza eh acha hebu niende nirudi tena niulize mm-hmm. so saa tatu na nusu inaelekea nikarudi nika knock so kurudi ni ku knock uh, nasa akakuja akafungua akaniambia ni siingie na front door ni rudi tu kwa nyuma mm. so kuzunguka nyuma kaniweka kwa desk mm. ndio kani explainia kitu imefanyika akasema ali receive wali receive Morina at such time mm. uh, wakajaribu vile wanaweza but apparently ame ame pass oh. so that was the most heart breaking news nilipata it was very heart breaking so hapo uh, the breaking to tears ili everything niliona tu imeisha mm kaona mm, kama dunia sasa hiyo dunia ni kama ah because uh, that was the least thing uh, nilikuwa na expect and we were least thing we expected na yeah, right. to happen cause yeah we were very happy to receive news ako pregnant na ako na twins mm. yeah, alikuwa happy alikuwa na expect watu wake na hiyo mood ya happiness of mm. the love from the mother mm. so hizo vitu nikikumbuka zina ni sometimes ni i find it very hard mm. Mm, find it very challenging right yeah so until they are kind of even so the last words that you bibi yako alikwambia zilikuwa nini ni baya tu watu hii na those were the last words the, that's the last thing ni aliniambia akitoka because nikiingia nikipata kilala tulipiga tu story mm. but the last thing aliniambia kirudishwe theater hapo kwa entrance mm. nimeonelewa tuto nani yeah. so mm. ndio ilikuwa mara yako ya mwisho ku, kumuona vizuri ya yeah, kumuona like. vizuri kama kwa kwa baada anaweza ongea mm. kama ananiona hivi mm. so hizo zingine angeweza do anything angeweza fungua macho mm. yeah. things zilikuwa too tough what yeah. what wow. now imekuwa hivyo how 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 did now life start from there ilikuwa vipi sasa kutoka pale mke wako ame ameaga mm. ako umeachiwa mapacha hapa maisha sasa utaianzia vipi yeah after kurudi after mm. kiambu nikarudi tu mama lucy kuangalia ku check from after my kids mm. kukuja nikapata sister in law alikuwa anajuana na watu wa media kidogo mm. pata pia days interviews mm. alafu watu uh, mama lucy pia alikataa watu wa media wasingie mm. so there tuka vile kuingia wakatuita for board meeting wanajaribu kujua what happened mm. eh, of which tuliwa explain mm. so they were just offering me a counseling support kama niko nitakubali na familia you know, mm. counseling mm-hmm. but not that support of what mm. we and everything how to take responsibility of no responsibility the mm. at a burial tulingangana tu vile tunaweza tukambari vizuri mm. yeah and after that nikaanza ku process documentation za watu hii mm. ka summary dismissal mm. discharge pale mm. alafu na hizo uh, birth notification zao mm. so which birth notification ilipewa easily so mm. discharge summary ndio ilikuwa issue kidogo mm. juu walikuwa wanataka kukataa kutupea discharge uh, no reason mm. of which tulingangana tuliwapea tu pressure ndio wakatupea mm. uh, birth notification ilikuwa tu sawa but hiyo mm. nyingine ilikuwa issue mm. of which finally tulikuja tukapewa mm. so that day nikatoka na watoi wangu 
kwa OC mm. until to date niko nao kwa nyumba niko kisurvive eh, nao ni survive tu na wao mm. eh tuli tulikuja nao mm. first week wakakoa wagonjwa mm. eh, tukawapeleka Kenyatta mm. one week waka akatolewa mm. so i thank god adi today they are okay they are mm. growing healthy mm. Ya yeah, support ya Kenya pia imetusaidia. Right. Naweza sema a little support nimepata. Mm. Manans na nini? Mm. At least when uh, they have been using nans cause niliakuwa advised to nisiwa introduce kwa any other food apart, apart from nan, yeah. Right. For the first six months. Mm. So size is their third month. Mm. Uh, yeah, they are growing healthy. Mm. Is their third month they have been using that and uh, I think that ndio inahitajika sana at least nione vile wanakula they will be niko nao as a father I'm, I'm supporting them I'm there for them and uh, mm. yeah and every circumstance uh, uh, every circumstance niliona uh, juzi uh, kuna wakati uh, ulikuwa pale kwa senate eh? mm. na nilikuwa nikifuatilia kesi yako sana mm. kwa sababu nilijua the very first time after everything happened hiyo time ya habari yo still following uh, on everything mm. uh, wakati ulienda kwa senate je kuna vile serikali iliingilia ikasema itakusaidia ama ilikuwa vipi tu bado wana, wana they are doing their investigation mm. of which i think wamemaliza mm. wana and uh, recession on until february ndio wanarudi mm. that the feedback nimepata mm. so uh, investigation yao i think is done mm. and uh, hakuna support wamesema watanipea mm. which bado sijapata any support mm. yeah, tunapambana tu na maisha mm. uh, yeah few help from friends and family mm. but government part of it bado hajanipea mm. that much support mm. uh, maybe i need for the kids mm. uh, Well, there is so, no any anything they accorded at vile uliingia huko hakuna ati utapata kuna mtu atasema huyu kijana kwa sababu ni miyang meachiwa mm. watoto acha nikuwe nikimsimamia maybe before the investigation is done ah no 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 one is there hakuna mtu amekuja forward from the government ku, kusema we are offering such as such mm. bado kama investigation inafanyika what are they investigating No, liko naangalia hizo stories za mama Lucy mm. uh, uh, allegations to me uh, to the mm. so which wao walienda huko waka, waka confirm mm. if they are true uh, governor sakaja alienda huko mwenyewe mm. in hiyo incident ikifanyika alienda akapata mm. there's no no drugs no hakuna vitu kama hizo facilities mm. hakuna mm. of which yeye pia alipata wamama wamekaa wame, wame pale wengine wamekaa kwa bench kama wameza, mtu ameza tu saa hizi but mm. wamekaa wamekalia bench alipata hizo vitu of which kuna virus reports pia niko, niko nayo imetoka kwa hizo body za health mm. eh, zinasema mm. yeah so hizo ndio think vitu walikuwa nachunguza of which mm. walipata there's a report inasema there was a delay of 8 hours au mm. before mama Lucy would decide wanataka kufanya nini na mke wangu inaona 8 hours yeah there is another 2 hour there is a 2 hours there is a 3 hours mm. zilikuwa zinakuwa delayed mm. so i think wange active mapema wange hizi vitu zinatunga uh, atunga atunga kwa tunaangalia saa hizi mm. hiyo delay ya 8 hours mm. walikuwa wanafanya nini ya 8 hours of mm. which hiyo 8 hours ndio tuna claim hiyo from saa saba hadi siku saa mm. in between us uh, tujue what was happening mm. yeah juu alimchukua kama bado anaongea kwa ward mm. kwa wakimpeleka second operation mm. so hiyo time wange decide haraka what to do with her wange save life wange save life mm. now let me ask you uh, maisha imekuwa vipi Eh, kutoka pale sasa uh, umeanza kukaa na watoto kwa nyumba mm. maybe kuna mtu atakusaidia kukaa na wao ama utaanza tu kuishi na wao mm. wewe kiviako another thing na forget about hiyo hiyo senate yes uh, niko na lawyer already of which lawyer wangu ana amefinalize report yake mm. uh, juzi yeye pia anafaa submit those reports mm. of which wakirudi from from I think walisema break kidogo senate mm. of february wa kirudi i think wata pick up from that mm. of which we will maybe go to court mm. yeah because wakipata makosa already mm. compensation should be given right. at least to take care of these kids until right. they grow yeah mm. so as much as life is equal paid back mm. but how will these kids survive maybe how many held i have to be here 
at least oh, eh, inakuwa ngumu mm. ju sister in law pia hizi peke yake mm. raising twins si rahisi no the vile wanafikiria usiku mm. wakiamka umeamka wote mm. and maisha imekuwa that challenging mm. yeah imekuwa tough kidogo right mm. so mnakuwa mki mkisaidia kulewa watoto na hiyo sister in law yeah since day one to amekuwa amekuwa na mimi mm. amestand na mimi sana mm. Mm. Yeah, mwenye hakuwa na familia yake ako na familia ako na pia watoto wake watatu of which mm. wanaenda shule mm. first born 13 years mm. second born 9 ingine ko 7 so yeye pia anafaa take care of hizo vitu zote but unapata ame abandon hata watu wake size hii attention ya mother mm. though as much ana tuko nao together mm. but yeye pia anangangana ana amekuwa mm. na mimi mm. mm. watoto wa sister yake wasiteseke so mm ame stand na mimi yeye ndio tumekuwa tu kill race watoto na yeye mm-hmm. from day one mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. now since uh, hizo vitu zote zitendeke the most challenging things ama challenging thing yenye umepatana nayo in all this situation mm-hmm. mm-hmm. kitu ile ngumu umepatana nayo ukasikia hii yenyewe mm-hmm. hii imenilemea kabisa mm-hmm. yeah sometimes umejua hizo na nzao zikienda kuisha wanzo nafikiria wa wow what next watakula nini mm. na sasa hizi sizo introduce sometimes ya yeah. hata kulala mbele siku ni tough you no know? you have to be there mm. sasa zingine tumbo inawauma mm. majo ya sa young father au uh, jai pitia vitu kama hivyo but mm. sasa you have to face the reality of mm. life mm. Yeah. and you have to be strong mm. yeah. mm-hmm. generally life life in a change mm. is not easy mm. as, as we think mm. Mm. Now maybe sometimes it akupatia the memory of their mother angekuwa pale no. yeah sometimes nikifikiria vitu kama hizo bro wao mm. unaweza ona sasa hizi maybe iko sawa lakini reality na niitingi sometimes mm. nikikuwa usiku peke yangu maybe i just want to sleep you feel okay ukiangalia kwanza ukiangalia watu then feel hiyo love ni mama yao alikuwa anaongelea kama wako kwa tumbo mm. and vile alingewa treat and mm. vile mngeishi after that na watoto you feel mm. i mean a very big gap mm. a very big gap mm. uh, but i know god is watching mm. and god will take care of everything mm. Mm. kila kitu tunachia mungu anajua the reason why all this happened right mm-hmm. that's very encouraging eh? mm-hmm. maybe tukaenda kumalizia malizia pengine kuna maneno unaweza ongea maybe uh, yenye huwa yako moyoni mwako and maybe towards even the the hospital itself mm-hmm. the nurses who neglected everything you know maybe they could be watching mm-hmm. maybe do you have anything to say to them uh, uh, maybe this uh, goes to to all nurses mm-hmm. uh, and the doctors mm. meaning ya omba tu eh mm, kama wako na mgonjwa mm. i think the total attention should be given to that patient mm. regardless penye anatoka and status mm. yake mm. You, they should do their best mm. yeah imagine you sasa kesi ya nurse unaambia afanye hivi then anakuambia wewe ndio utoe hiyo mm. then they should have some mm. heart kind mm. kind heart wasiende tu pale ku because of job right. at least when they're there to save life mm. yeah and for the government manze mimi nataka tu justice ifanyike kwa wife mm. wa watu hiyo watagrow up at easy stuffs na wangependa kufurahia sana justice mm. ingepatikana for their mm. mother because mm. easy vitu zote evidence is there the reports wameandika watu wa emergency wameandika wame reports zao mm. governor ameenda himself wale akaona the situation iko mm. na ana bado unapata anatetea the hospital so that means here yeah, anafurahia this kind of deaths zinafanyika governor is said in hospital the juice nimeona amesema uh, we should give more time to mama lucy hospital mm. so naona sasa hiyo you giving more time na mmoja pia senate mps wana wana wanaongelea wana about the shutdown total shutdown mm. at least ama ama kama wana wanataka wana kufanya some changes then mm. they should be practical changes mm. siku yetu ni mdomo maybe mse anaongea mm. akue juu mama lucy ameongelewa for several times right mm. so mm. ngependa kama affirmative action ingechukuliwa vizuri mm. Mm. at least It's a very sad story. Ni mm. najua ni 
ni, ni kitu ambacho hauko na expect na maybe ilikuuma sana but uh, mm. naomba kwamba Mungu akusaidia sana mm. kulea na kusimama na watoto wako mm. like you've said mm. uh, kuna sababu ambayo Mungu alifanya ikawa vile mm. na Mungu atakuwa anakutumia msaada every other time you need help mm. god will be providing for you najua kuna mtu anatuzizama hapa kuna mtu amefuatilia hii story sana na kuna mtu angependa pengine kukusaidia mtu aseme nitanunua nan moja mm. nan moja ni how much so ni 1700 1700 mm. pa one inakuanga kgs ngapi ni katin tu uh, sijini how many kgs but mm. is a uh, katin ni 17 1700 1700 and kunyanga ngapi pa maybe pa week kama ina day wanatumia hiyo team moja juni wanaume wamejoa ni wanaume ukifungua saa hizi mm. by the end of the day itakuwa imeisha so the more mm. they wanna grow majoa mm. alikuwa anatumia ingekuwa moja hivyo mm. wangetumia maybe for 3 days mm. walikuwa wadogo bado walikuwa na consume a lot mm. but saa hizi ni wamegrow 3 months mm. team moja hata vile tunaendelea maybe inaweza tumia 1 and 15 mm. in a day mm so maybe kifika 6 months uko naweza introduce kwa kitu kama porridge easy light right. uh, mm. to, uh, mm. but for the three months zimebaki lazima mm. matumie that mm. na before upeana namba wewe uko kazi ama what do you do for survival uh, mimi ni hustler too mm. nafanya hustler ni kazi hustler fund hustler fund eh sisi ndio toxic way loan tunafanya biashara tunadisha mimi nafanya eh uh, kazi kidogo biashara. Mm. Yeah. Uh, yale yango ya smoky mm. bado na isukuma mm. naendelea mm. na push push. Mm. Uh, Unafanyanga bado smoky. Yeah. Na ndo inalipia watoto everything. Ah uh, uh, maybe plus savings nimekuwa nazo. Mm. Uh, plus hiyo support nimesema nimeangalia there are some few friends wana join us. Mm. Uh, maybe unapata mtu anatumia kanani mbili hivi. Mm. Uh, yeah you una, una sukuma nayo day. Right. Okay, so vitu zako za kukula pia wizi yomba kila siku. Mm. Uh, lazima pia utoke nje fanya 1 2 3. Okay. So maybe shughulizia mtu hii chakula unaweza mm. napata. Bati yako mm. ya kukula pia lazima mm. ujitafutie. Right. Mm. Haya, sasa tupeana namba ya simu vile mtu anaweza kusaidia mtu mwenye anaweza kutumia na ni moja umesikia na ni moja ni 1700 mm. kuna mtu anaweza sema nitanunua za wiki moja za mwezi mm. everywhere unaweza support Robert Omondi mm. you are most welcome namba yako ya simu namba yako ya simu ni 0724879026 mm. 0724879026 mm. wow Mm. Thank you so much Omondi and we really wish you the best and uh, we pray that uh, Mungu atakusaidia kulea watoto. Mm. Mungu atakupatia hiyo grace ya kuweza kusimama na watoto wako mm. na those kids will be a blessing to you and to your family. Yeah. One day I know you won't regret about this. Utaona maybe the reason why God had to make it happen that way. Thank you. Na tena asante kwa kukubali kuzungumza nasi. Mm. Uh, nilikwambia hii uh, story tumepartner na Mrodi TV. Mrodi TV unaweza subscribe kwa Mrodi TV kama uko kwa wanyike wa Mgore Official usubscribe pale na hii kazi tutaendelea kuifanya tutakuwa tukifuatilia vile Omondi atakuwa akiendelea na maisha na watoto wake will be doing this akifika mahali anakwama na Twitter tunakuja tunazungumza na wewe unamtumia nani tunalea watoto ukisikia unanunulia watoto viatu nguo everything Mungu atakubariki sana thank you so much for watching Uh, ni kutakie wakati mwema hadi wakati mwingine langu jina ni wanyoike mgora na ukubali kusubscribe kwa channel Z uliniambia uko na channel by the way haya niko na youtube channel unaitwa nani unaitwa robert mondi robert mondi yeah. waenda wa subscribe pale uh, waenda wa subscribe pale umeone wana vile watu wao wanaendelea kabisa yeah. uh, thank you <laughs> yeah mimi pale facebook na wanyoike wa mgora morodi tv pale facebook youtube ni morodi tv tiktok everywhere wanyoike wa mgora morodi tv Go do that. Enda u subscribe, enda u follow, enda ufanye kila kitu, comment, share na Bwana atakubariki sana. Hadi wakati mwingine nakutakia kila laheri. God bless you so much and bye bye. Amen.